Are you confused about why you miss your backhand over and over again and still miss it when it really counts in your match? One of the most under-practiced skills is not sending the ball, it's receiving the ball. So the key to improving your match play backhand is to practice your movement to your backhand, getting to the ball, loading in the appropriate stance, and then using the best contact move when striking the ball is how you make your backhand its best. In this backhand video series, we are going to explore with you these incredible combinations of stances and contact moves to give you more confidence and consistency with your backhand in competitive play. Hi, I'm Sterling Strother and this is The Art of Winning. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to this channel and click the alert notification. Okay, we're going to talk about the two-handed backhand today and specifically we're going to be working on how much do you train the left hand on a two-handed backhand okay so we have Pierce here uh, he's right-handed so he hits a two-handed backhand so a lot of times we see a player that hits a two-handed backhand we see them if they're right-handed when they come through they're too much right-hand dominant right so if you're too much right hand dominant a lot of times if you're not if you've never hit a one-handed backhand and you don't understand how to create topspin with a one-handed backhand um, you'll tend to sort of block through the ball and the racket face will turn a little bit the top edge of the racket will turn back as you hit the ball because you're not using enough left hand um, so the way we want to talk about training the left hand is you've got to Get more in touch, Pierce, with you, the fine motor skills in your fingers of your left hand, right? Because when we're right-handed, we eat with our right hand. We pick up stuff with our right hand. So you get you have good dexterity with the right hand um, and the how to control your fingers, right, in a finite way, right? Fine motor skills. So what we need want you to do is concentrate on the on the thumb index and middle finger of your left hand not your bottom two fingers okay the bottom when we squeeze the bottom two fingers we are that we use the bottom two fingers to squeeze with our volleys when you squeeze the racket with the bottom two fingers you control the bottom edge of the racket right so same thing on and when you're hitting a two-handed backhand the same thing with your right hand you want to squeeze with the top three fingers thumb index middle finger and not the bottom two because when you, when you squeeze with the bottom two, the bottom edge of the racket will turn up at contact. When you squeeze with the top three fingers on, your, on both hands, you're going to keep that you're going to control the, the top edge of the racket, right? So when I squeeze the top, two the top three fingers, I control the top edge. I squeeze the bottom two, I control the bo bottom edge. That's when you volley, you squeeze the bottom two. So you want that bottom edge to come through the ball to create that sort of under side spin motion. Okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to do a couple of progressions so you can get used to using your left hand. Now, when you're working with a player with two-handed backhand, obviously they don't have the kind of dexterity in their left side of their body as they do the right side if they're right-handed. You're going to switch this if they're left-handed. But for this purpose, is you're, you're right-handed, Pierce. So what I want you to do is when you bring the racket to contact, you're going to use both hands on the racket as you turn, both hands on the racket as you come to contact, right? I don't want you to just use your left arm, right? Not right now, right? We want to build up that dexterity. Bring them both to contact, and then when you get to contact, I want you to let go with your right hand, your dominant hand, and then I want you to finish through with the left hand on the finish. Now, when you get to contact, make sure you're squeezing those top three fingers and you're, you're letting the palm of your hand stay out towards your target as it elevates. Now, topspin is created by the elevation of your racket at contact, not by the rolling of the wrist. Okay, that's very important to understand. So if you want to create topspin as a two-handed backhand, you're going to want to elevate the racket at contact. Now, the more you extend your left arm through the shot, the more depth you're going to create with your shot. Okay, so we want to look for 
extending the left arm and letting go will automatically help you start extending the left arm more and then finish elevated finish right here okay elbow is up underneath the chin the elbow wrist and shoulder are level okay so you don't want to finish way up here with your elbows above your head or too low here all right so two hands on the racket two contact let go finish we're going to do a few of those hold your racket there good okay here we go ready so both hands back left hand through good both hands back left hand through both hands back left hand through both hands back left hand through again can you feel yourself squeezing right now let's be real clear come closer here I want you to notice his grip he has a Eastern strong Eastern grip with his left hand he has a continental grip with his right hand now notice where the thumb it thumbs are the thumb is pressing into the racket and it's just above the third finger same thing with the right hand as well I see a lot of players and their thumbs are up like that or they're maybe wrapped around or they're up here like this that's going to produce a weak shot you want that thumb to press into the racket maybe the inside and you want it to rest and sort of use that third finger as sort of a resting place that's big and if you're a coach watching this you've got to watch that into your play in your players where's the thumb in the racket okay all right we'll tell when you want us to tell them so Pierce's thumb was actually like this it was up here so I called him and I had to adjust it back in here so we adjusted that you're good to go all right let's do a few more of those from the front angle so people can see you let go of that racket and let go, let go at contact so you can just use your left hand coming through good again that's it right how do you how do you feel as far as like what are you feeling in your left hand and your fingers which fingers are you feeling that you're squeezing uh, the index the middle finger and the thumb good so the the bottom two fingers should just kind of be hanging on you know and you're not using obviously any right hand right now because you're letting go now the second stage of this is you're going to keep your right hand on the racket and you're not going to squeeze at all with your right hand this is crucial in the next stage is you're just going to have it on the racket and you're still using that left hand as the driver so just picture you're driving with your left hand and you have a pat your right hand is the passenger okay there's no two drivers yet we're going to get to that because the ultimate goal here is for him to use both hands equal pressure on the back end but he's got to get more feeling and more use of his left hand right now because he's not left-handed his dominant hand is right so he needs to get the left hand caught up at least somewhat with the left hand with the right hand yeah. it's never going to be as strong unless you just start doing everything with your left hand for like the next 20 years because <laughs> well 14 like you're 14 so you've used your right hand for 14 years predominantly so you, you'd have to catch up okay we don't have we don't want, we need to worry about that right now okay. just use your left hand here in this phase All right, so keep both hands on and just use your left hand. Very good finish. That's it. Nice. Feel that left hand driving the shot. Awesome. Few more. Few more. Good. And drive that shot. Watch your spacing. There you go. It. good now many of you maybe are watching this and you notice that Pierce is hitting these balls from just behind the service line well there's a reason for that I want to, him to take the net out of his mind I want him to feel free to swing through and concentrate on what he's doing with his hands and not have to worry about sending the ball 39 feet or 40 feet behind the baseline over this net so we put him closer to the net if you if you start out these challenges these sequences of progressions with the player closer to the net they they tend to actually get 
be more focused on the performance of the stroke. Like you're for, you're more focused on the performance right now, and not necessarily whether you where you're hitting the ball. Yeah. Right. So we're focusing on techniques exclusively right now because that's a part of being a better player. You've got to have excellent technique to play at the high levels, right? And then we'll start to mix this into point play, all right? And see if it holds up under pressure. All right, this time, the last progression here for the sake of this video is you're going to squeeze with both hands as you make contact. Now remember, you're squeezing with these six fingers and the last two fingers on each hand, they're just holding on as passengers. But you're really focusing on the grip pressure being here and that you're going to try to even out the grip pressure because thus far most all the grip pressure 99 percent of the grip pressure right has been on the left hand correct yeah. so now you're going to try to distribute it a little 50 50 maybe even 55 left hand 45 right hand somewhere in there but only you know that difference but i'm going to ask you questions how did that feel did that feel more right hand did that feel more left hand and we'll kind of get kind of focus in on 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 what that pre grip pressure is between the two hands okay here we go so both hands equal pressure all right watch your spacing a little bit more underneath the ball Good. Now, let's actually drop back to the baseline all the way. You're going to send these from the baseline. Go. Watch your spacing. And again, equal. And two more. That's good. Good. So today, all we really focused on in this backhand improving your two handed backhand video is just really the hands and the grip pressure. Hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you push the notification button to receive new videos we're going to be releasing and also subscribe to the Art of Winning YouTube channel and we'll get more videos like this on the technical part of the game and also the tactical and strategic. Hey, thanks for watching this video and check out the other videos in this series here.